you are going to begin your self-portrait with a background. So create the background with any tools you want, colorful, simple, dull, whatever. Next, build a head. You can do it with the paintbrush. Paint a head, paint a neck, get some shoulders in. Note that my neck is darker than my head. As we continue to build, we can use the color pencil or I like to use the crayon. Put in the whites of the eyes, find the white crayon, put on the whites of the eyes, put in a little bit white for the teeth. And we can layer everything on top of that. We're going to layer the pup the irises, so the color part of your eye, on top of that little white that we put down. I like to do that with the colored pencil. So choose the colors you like. Remember your irises, your eyes have more than one whoops, shade of blue. Always hit back if you mess up. Let's see, why did it do that? For some reason it chose my last color. Now I am correct. And I can start adding the blue. I want to make it darker, even darker. The more you layer, the more realistic and nice this is going to look. Because you could see I put all these little layers in. I could even get some real light in there for my catch light. Build your eyes. As you can see, I built my eyes. I built the pupils, I built the lips the same way with the color pencil, layer, 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 added a few colors to make it look highlighted. Remember, I ever don't like anything, all I have to do is hit back, or I can keep layering on top. Now I cleaned this eye up a bit so it doesn't look so fuzzy, edged, and I can do that with my paintbrush tool. If I go over here, hit the paintbrush again, I can make it really skinny, and I can come in and make this look a little bit neater. So it looks more like my eyes are shut. I should probably make them even. You could do the same thing with your lips. And now I'm building it a little neater. I'm going to use this same tool to build my nose because the nose is skin color. So while I have this color skin on, I can change the tool. I can make it a little bit wider. I can make it a little fuzzy and soft. I can make it a little transparent. And I actually will make it a little bit lighter. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can't see very much, but I'm actually tap, tap, tapping, and I'm getting a little bit lighter nose. So I can use this to build the lightest part of my nose, which is that. If I keep tapping, it gets lighter. I'm going back, back, back. Or I can kind of like use that to build my nose, maybe add a little bit of lines here. Again, I'm experimenting and I'm figuring it out. Maybe that's going to make me rebuild my whole head and add some nice color in to make my chin look a little bit lighter. However you want to build it. You can then come in darker make that brush real skinny maybe a little transparent and look at you can come in and add a shadow on the outside of your nose this is the trickiest part and this will probably take you the longest but if you just keep building and building you'll be able to build this up I can put nostrils in make it a little darker and make my lines super skinny See how I zoom in so I can see? That looks pretty nice. I don't know if I really like all that mess that I kind of did. So I could just go to my paintbrush again. Start with my original color. Maybe get rid of some of that. I'm not sure that I'm really wild about it. And build, build, build. Aside of all this, whoops. That's a pretty good nose. So I have a pretty good nose. I cleaned up my eyes a bit, my lips, everything looks pretty nice, and now I need to start adding some hair. I can do that with the colored pencil, 
choose whatever color I want. Maybe I'll do some, start with some browns. I can turn that brown on and I could actually make it a little darker. I can make it a little lighter and I can invent my own color. I can make it really, really dark transparent wise or I can make it a little thinner so that when I draw the lines, you could kind of see through them. And you're going to come in and start drawing your eyebrows. The other one. Maybe you want to come in and do like a little bit of some eyelashes. Maybe you don't like that brown and you think it would look better if it was a little darker, which I would agree with you. Maybe make my line a little skinnier. And again, I want to make it as zoom in as well as I can. That was weird. I only wanted to delete my last line. Come on in, eyelashes, make it look a little edgy. Make my eyebrows a little darker. Make my hair start coming in. If you do it in that direction, it'll look like hair. This direction will not look like hair. We can make this line a little thicker. Come in and get some hair going. And really, once you get the hair, make sure you close this sometimes. So the arrows up here to hit back to erase that mistake. So you can color cover your shirt if you want to or go behind it. You can do this whole thing with the hair. And if you want it to look like it's behind you, then in the end, See how that's not really showing up very well? There. You could always make it more opaque, which is the opposite of transparent, so that it covers. And then if you really wanted to cut your hair off so it looked like it was behind your shoulders, you could go like this. Find the paintbrush. That's my purple color. I think that's the, I think that's the purple color I used. I'll use a small one. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's zoom in. Now it looks like my hair is behind my shirt. Layers, layers, layers. That's how you be successful. See? That looks pretty good. The last thing I wanted to show you was maybe building a little bit of highlights in your hair. You could use that pencil tool, pick a lighter color, and add some skinny little lines. That looks nice. The last thing I'd like to focus on is drawing your pupils and your eyes because you really need your eyes to pop in a self-portrait. I'm on the colored pencil. I'll find the black. Zoom in real nice. See how that's coming in gray? All that means is that it's, tra it's not opaque enough. Transparent. See, you can't see it. opaque you can not see through so here I have my pencil tool and I'm going to draw this very dark why is that happening let's go opaque let's pick black and opaque let's see if that works Okay, guess we better figure it out because it might happen to you. Black is black. Opaque is opaque. There we go. So I'm going to put in a nice pupil. Slide over. Make sure it lines up. Put in a nice pupil. Looks pretty good. Could look better. See that white? Watch this. That is a catch light. Now my eyes look great. Catch light. It's the way your eyes catch the light. I have a catch light on my lip as well. Whoops, now I have a white wart. <laughs> That's a nice finished self-portrait. I have clothing, shoulders, a good sized neck, not a little lollipop stick. My hair has highlights, my nose has depth. Excellent self-portrait. That's what I'm looking for.